Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to do uh, my top five most used uh, luxury high heel shoes that I own. So if you guys are interested, let's keep watching. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will really, really appreciate it. Don't forget, don't follow me on my social media accounts. I have two Instagram accounts and I will link it down below. And I also, if you like this type of video, I'm all about luxury uh, fashion and also actually beauty and makeup, just please click a thumbs up. So without further ado, let's do it. So my absolute favorite pair, the one that I have been using for the longest time and for me personally are the most comfortable shoes I've ever owned are actually my Valentino Rock Studs. These ones are with the 10 centimeters, like 100 millimeters um, high heel. And I will just take one of these and show you guys. They look like this, they are in patent leather, black leather, with the um, iconic like pink nude color for the rock stud. And the rock stud are in like a gold champagne color. So in some light, it looks a little bit more on the silver side and other light, it looks a little bit more yellow. It's very easy for you to choose if you want to use silver or gold jewelry to go with it. So it's a beautiful, beautiful combo. Um, I adore these shoes, as you may see. I have been using these ones so, so much for the longest time. Um, this one was actually my second pair of um, Valentino Rocks that I own. Uh, my first pair was actually um, like a cobalt blue uh, patent leather as well. And this one I still own, but I haven't used them as much as these ones, of course, because it's not as classic. And at that time, I wanted this these shoes so so much and they were sold out everywhere it was like such a hype on these shoes it was exactly when they came out and i said to my mom we have to go to milan i want to see them and if i see them i bought them and they had them in the pink and in the blue i i, I think yeah i think they have just these two colors oh and also the the yellow neon um color but the black and the nude was of course sold out so i just bought the blue ones i didn't even think about it and I have not been using them so much, so I'm a little bit sad about that, but to be honest, afterwards I thought I need to buy this one again when they come in stock, and I bought this on the Luisa Viaroma site, and this one was actually a, th a 39, so they're true to size, so comfortable, I don't know how the kitten heel is, I think these are also very comfortable, I don't really look the look of it, I do prefer higher heels, and this one is so so comfortable I have been walking in this so long someday I walked in them in the park uh, for, for like two hours and nothing happened to my feet so if you're going to a wedding or if you're going like for a little more like classic event that takes a longer time I would really suggest these shoes because they're so so comfortable the second pair that I adore like adore are actually my Louboutin Pigal, and these ones are with the spikes. So I'm gonna show you just one of these. They look like this. I mean, look, it's like art. For me, this is art. Um, they are in patent nude leather, and of course, with all the spike around. Red sole, this one are the classic Pigal, so they are 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters, and they are like a thicker heel. Um, and I have been using them also so much. I'm so sad this went away. And to be honest, these shoes are, were also so difficult to find. Um, this one was actually the one that I've been raving so much about and the one that I wanted so bad from Louboutin. But same problem with these were they were always sold out and they were very, very expensive. So I didn't want to spend 900 euros on a pair of, on a pair of shoes. So I was lucky enough to find them in secondhand store online in Stockholm and this person have never worn them they just came like this and with a dust bag without the box but the thing was they were never worn like I think they wore them once I don't know if maybe because of the size they wanted to sell them I'm not sure but they were in pristine condition they still actually are except for the sole and I adore these shoes this one is actually a 40 and in Pigal I'm always a 40 I go up a size to make them more comfortable for my feet and I think Louboutins are like this you more you use them um, 
they get more and more comfortable. Um, Pigalle for me are the only, Pigalle and Pigalle Folie are actually the only shoes from Louboutin that for my type of feet fits um, like better. Um, I would just buy Pigalle's from um, Louboutin, uh, but of course there are people who love the so cake and for them it's perfect, but for me, because I have a wider foot, so cake are too narrow on the feet and the Pigalle are, as you guys can see, wider. So they're just very comfortable. Of course, they're not as comfortable as the Valentino one, but these shoes I used a ton and I still do because they look good with everything because it's nude color you can get away with it during summer you can wear cute dresses but you can also wear uh, jeans or uh, pants I mean they're always so beautiful and elegant my third pair of heels are the Gianvito Rossi PVC um, shoes and these one were very popular because I think it was Kim Kardashian who first um, put the trend of it and she started using this. I think she was wearing like a beautiful red dress and then she had these shoes with a red, I think it was suede also leather. And I was like, I need them. They are so cool, they are so beautiful. And I went to Milan to visit my mom because back in, back in the days I was living in Sweden and I was like, oh mom, oh my God, we have to go to the store, we have to check if they have Javito Rossi shoes and they had them. And I bought this in the suede black leather and they are kind of gross because these are probably my, one of my most, 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 most used shoes, I mean, I wear them also during winter. I don't care that you don't see this because they're so comfortable. They look like this. I'm gonna show you just one of them. Let's just show you this one. I mean, look. I, I feel like I want them in every color. Um, they also do a beautiful like gray suede that looks so bomb, it's incredible. Um, and also a beige one as well. But this one, I mean, they are quite of dirty and I have been using them so much. The heel is also 100 millimeters. Is the heel that makes me more comfortable. 12 centimeters is a little bit too much, but uh, 10 centimeters is actually actually perfect. And in terms of sizing, this is also a 40 and I could also wear 39 to be honest, but back in the days I was a 40. So I, I, feel, I feel like these are very, very comfortable. So you really should check them out. The fourth pair that I have is also another one from Louboutin. And they are also Pigalle, but these ones are a little bit more different. So they're not for everyone. I understand a lot of them are not for everyone. Like also the Spike Louboutin are not for everyone. I understand that. But these ones are the Pigalle Camouflage. But it's like a laminate, la laminate I think they call, like laminate um, camouflage. So you actually see that on the light, the camouflage, you see it, it looks so beautiful. And this one is the classic Pigal, so 100 millimeters, uh, the heel is a little bit thicker, um, it's not like a stiletto. And look how gorgeous they look. Of course, they're not for everyone. This pair I bought actually in uh, Denmark, in Copenhagen. And I saw this and I was like, oh my God, they're so beautiful. I, I just fell in love. It was like in a camouflage kind of trend back in the days. So I thought these are so cool. And the fact that they have some gold in it and some silver in it, they look really different. And these, I have been using so much for everything, for every occasion, because they are so comfortable. This is also a size 40, and and they they look good with everything. Um, and they also stand out, but at the same time, they don't. So it's like, kind of, if you know, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> The last shoes that I adore is actually not as expensive as the other one I showed you guys. This one is a little bit more um, more affordable, but it's still a very expensive shoes. And this one is from the brand Shoots. If you guys don't know what it is, it's like a, I think it's a Brazilian brand and they do the most amazing, amazing shoes, not just high heels, also sneakers, but there are, there are, popular because of their high heels and they look like this they they look a little bit like the Stuart Weitzman that I think is the nudest or the nude um, heel I think it calls and I mean this is 
so elegant it looks like this in front it has a little bit of like a curviness that it makes here and the heel is the same 100 millimeters it's a little bit thicker and this one is also a size 39 and these shoes I bought in New York City when I was with my girls uh, from Sweden. We went to New York, we were there like two weeks and we uh, were going around shopping a lot and then I saw this store shoots and I knew this store because a lot of people had them. Uh, but the, fa the thing is in Sweden we don't have shoots, maybe now yes, but back in the days we didn't. And I saw this store and I thought, oh my God, we have to try some shoes. And I really wanted just these ones because everyone was raving about these shoes saying it's they're so comfortable they look so minimalistic and yet so elegant they look good with everything like with sh with shorts with dresses with midi dress it looks amazing and also with skirts so i thought i have to check these out so they have them in every single color like red pink beige everything but i wanted them in suede black suede leather i'm really into suede if you guys know because in my channel I have a lot of suede everywhere like shoes bags everything and I fell in love with these they are a little bit more expensive I think they costed around 200 euros but they are amazing I have been using this for summer um, and I feel like also if they, they, they don't look as comfortable because it's so minimalistic they are comfortable of course it will not be as good as a more secure shoes like a valentino one but i mean the, i love i love the look of it and these shoes i have been wearing for the longest time and to be honest the quality is really really good so you guys have to check out the brand shoots so guys that was it for my youtube channel if you guys like it click a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will really really appreciate it if you guys have any questions just write me down below and i will text you as soon as i see it i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful weekend bye guys Mwah.